Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on. Uh, first deck of the day today uh, for us is on this Friday is going to be Rakdos Burn. I've always had uh, some fun with this burn deck. Um, basically, it's it's a little different from your mono red uh, burn decks because we get sword point diplomacy. That's the that's the big thing. So really, what what we have here is we have like some good card advantage between sword point diplomacy, light up the stage, and risk factor. Um, we can honestly get through a lot of cards in our deck. Um, so basically, what we want to do is we want to play against like control decks. Um, and like a but like removal heavy decks basically decks with lots of removal because we're not really playing creatures I'm only playing P Viachina Pyromancers and get two lava runners. Um, <laughs> thanks, Needy. Welcome. I uh, hope you're hope you enjoy the stream. Um, and uh, so yeah, so we're just trying to throw all of our burn sp spells upstairs. What we don't want to see is life gain, of course. Uh, life gain is difficult to overcome. Ah, sorry, something in my throat there. Um, and uh, especially, like, repeti repetitive light game. So, like, Wild Growth Walker is tough. You know, playing like against, like, Lyra is basically impossible. And I've kind of cut all my stuff for Lyra. You know, like, we're just going to lose against Lyra. Hopefully we don't play against it. her, though. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Welcome. Um, yeah, light game is cheat. <laughs> so that's, that's what we kind of got. Um... Last time, last time we've been playing this, we've been playing some Pestilence Spear with the deck, and um, and our last like two times playing it, the Pestilence Spirits unfortunately haven't been um, like they were awesome the very first time, but then they weren't so good the other times. But I, I kind of do like Pestilence Spirit with Carnival. I think that's a, a pretty nice uh, combination of cards to play. But it's kind of too many threes. I took I didn't play Viachino Pyromancer at Pestilence Spirit, and it was just too many threes. So going back to Viachino Pyromancer and adding in Wizard's Lightning in the deck then, because uh, without the Pyromancer, I cut the Wizard's Lightning and so on, and had more Carnivals. Um, we had Demanding Dragons in the sideboard for a Mono Red matchup. I'm pretty excited about that one. I think that, that card could be pretty good against Mono Red, because it's just really hard for them to deal with. And it can help us win races. Angrath against Control, Ritual Sit against Wild Growth Walker, and other aggro decks. So let's let's give it a try. Rakdos Burn. Yeah, we need those rampaging Ferocidons, right? I I uh, did like the search here on Arena of like can't gain life, and I think. Rampaging for us, was like the only uh, uh, card that came up. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? This is Hawkeye. He's the best. He's the best little kitty. All right, Hawkeye, you ready to play some Rakdos Burn? It's an okay hand. We, you know, we need one of our eleven three mana spells to, you know, get our our card advantage and stuff, but. I don't think this is a hand we necessarily ship. I'm guessing the P is silent, and this is Tubbs we're playing against. D Mac. Thanks for that resub there for the third month in a row. Three months already. Happy to be back, and thank you. For the great content. Uh, thanks, DMAC. Kicking off early with our first sub of the day. Let's go and risk factor. Turn on the lover, lava runner this way. Yeah, I got the red tie now. That is on my on my list of things to do. Um, I am planning on making these tie badges uh, better and um, making it more noticeable between the different tie badges and stuff, and making it 
you know, look more like a tie. Uh, I know people have, some people have been like, whoa, that's a tie? I thought it was, you know, and then, you know, like whatever else they say. Um... So yeah, the risk factor, of course, is a gr really good draw for us. You need to keep those three mana spells going. <laughs> yeah, okay, you thought it was a sword? Yeah. I need to make that... I need to make those uh, look a little better. I'm kind of surprised they took two and then. Pretty surprised they were willing to take two and then. Um, before they killed the lava runner. Oh, thanks, Needy. Uh, correct. Twitch With Twitch Prime, you can only subscribe to one channel. Um. Yeah, you know, you, you'd have to like, yeah, you have to pay for more uh, subs. But with Twitch Prime, you only get the one. And is is Needy good? Is that how I should pronounce that, or is it like Nitty Nitty Rat? Needy. All right, I'm just just going to my turn here. Kind of seeing if the opponent tap, taps out. Cool. Well, welcome to the channel. Glad, glad you're here. I think the challenge is the white blends into the chat box. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, so kind of have to go with like multiple colors and stuff. Right, let's fire this thing up up there and stuff. I could see them having like one counter spell. Yeah, like that. And then now we'll just be able to untap and go bite skewer. Well, there we go. That That's what we try to do here. Chilled, intelligent commentary. Okay, so our, our opponent missed a land drop, um, which made it a little easier for us. But So it looks like they're the Teamer Reclamation deck. Um, what am I doing against Teamer Reclamation? I mean, Angrath is probably the card that I would be most interested in, but they're going to have like a lot of counter spells. Actually, I probably just don't want the five mana card. Um... I may just not take change anything. Shock and Carnival just aren't, don't do a whole lot, you know, like two damage for like a card for only two damage just isn't really very much. Honestly, let's do it. Let's bring in these Angrats and let's get this extra land in here and let's cut Shock and Carnival or some of the shocks because, uh, you know, this is basically only Carnage and that's, you know, expensive and everything. Let's go with this. Plus, like, the other good part about Angrath in this matchup is it's likely they have Hydroid Crisis. And I want to be able to um, act trees in their Hydroid Crisis and take it and, and hit them with it, because it could be could be a pretty big Hydroid Crisis. Alright, wouldn't mind a little bit more lands. Would not would not mind some more lands. I have the extra land in the sideboard for whenever I bring in the more expensive spells. Like whenever, like how I'm bringing in Angrath here, I'm bringing in the extra land because I only have 22 in the deck. Um, with having five drops like Angrath, I, I want to have 23 lands. So um, that's why I have the land in the sideboard too. Um, because as you can tell here, I just cut one mana cards and brought in five mana cards. I need to adjust my mana base um, in kind. Um, am I just going light up the stage now? Or should I just go Wizards, Lightning, Sovereign's Bite? I 
I think I want to play other stuff first before light of the stage because there's a chance that I hit, you know, Angrath or like a couple three mana cards that I can't really hit off light of the stage. I still have, I have like really good options right now anyway. So let's kind of develop my mana, make it more likely that I get to use both cards kind of thing. Hey, what's up, 1960 pal? Good afternoon. Yeah, Hawkeye's here with us. He's sitting up here. I called it. Well, light up the stage would have hit the Angrath that we would have not been able to play. Okay, well now... Now without having any more lands, I want to play the light of the stage to try to hit land drops. Wow, that's a really bad light of the stage for us. I mean, it's not like the worst, but... Yeah, I, I preferred to hit a land, for sure. But we'll just cast the risk factor, which we'll just... Ooh, I thought I was just going to eat a counterspell. I guess it still could. No. They did, didn't hit a land drop on either of those growth spirals, so that means they're just chilling with a bunch of spells in hand. That's not really good for us. Wanted to make a Rakdos deck with Rakdos the Showstopper. I haven't tried any decks with Rakdos the Showstopper, actually. Um, that is a really difficult card to make work. It really is. Um, not many of those other creature types in standard. Like it was like demons and a couple others. Um, my best play here is Pyromancer plus Wizard's Lightning, but it's not a reliable play. How did my opponent just take that six? What are they doing? I guess I just play the the risk factors at instant speed. Just respond to the Ascanta. So they're just looking for counter magic or that card. That card's kind of messed up. All right, now we got the the land where we get to <clears throat> Pyromancer and Lightning Strike War Wizards Lightning. So hoping that we got to sneak in that Wizards Lightning there. Um But oh well. You know, could have been like, could have cast it now, for example. All right, so they're at a low life total, but the problem is they just kind of have infinite cards. So all they need to do is just keep stacking up counter magic.
I think this game's over. So basically just can't really tap out. Since they have infinite cards, might as well wait for them to... Um, I mean, we might as well wait till we can like, fire off a whole lot of spells at, in one turn, right? Like, just firing off like one or two turn uh, spells every turn, like they're going to be able to, to counter those. Um, Yeah, Punch is playing Team of Reclamation. Like they're just they're just gonna have like explosion. One well, of reclamation just gives you such an unreal amount of mana. I have four mana. They have 12 here, plus all their lands are untapped. <laughs> They're just going to have to go to discard. If they have infinite cards, we might as well just make them discard a bunch. They discarded a bunch of lands in Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah, maybe... Oh, yeah, you're thinking Stream Decker. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't I don't have like I didn't I don't have like the stream decker thing on the the screen. Um Um Yeah, no, I don't have that thing on the on the screen. I don't know. It could be a good option. Angrass weren't very good there, but we didn't have lands also. <laughs> I'm sincerely confused why Reclamation is even a card. It doesn't even fit the theme of the rest of the set. It was like it was a last-minute card they slipped in the set with little testing. I'm right there with you. I... I am sincerely confused also why that was a card that was printed. I have no idea. It does it doesn't make any sense to me. For the most part, the play design team has been doing so good and I I don't which makes it even more baffling. I have no idea how that was a card that was printed. All right, there's our Cinder Barons, our 23rd land. Yeah, I yeah, I've heard that with Birds of Paradise. With the artwork. They don't have any blue mana here. They they had to have kept a hand with a lot of removal spells. Which isn't like Which isn't necessarily great for us.
Font of Agonies and Argyle's Bloodfast. Okay. Um. Okay, what, what also when Coffee Master, when do you want me to play this deck? And any other cards you want in it besides those two? All right, so they took the three for the risk factor, gave us the other ones. Um, so you know, sword point was just it's just divination plus them take three. Of course, they you know we don't draw the necessarily the best cards though, but. Okay, anytime. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. That Gift of Paradise 3 life. That 3 life from Gift of Paradise. Keeping our opponent alive right now. Looks like our opponent may do like 2 damage to Pyromancer and draw 2 cards. Maybe. It's a, it is pretty ridiculous. They just, they've spent 10 mana this turn and they still have all their lands untapped for counter magic. After spending 10 mana. It is pretty ridiculous. Oh, Wilderness Reclamation is so much more overpowered than Nexus of Eight. The game is built around mana. That's what that's the most important resource in the game is mana. And what Wilderness Reclamation allows you to do is just completely breaks the game. Just look at that. Like they just get to spend eleven mana and have all their mana up at all times. Like, how is this, like, it's just completely ridiculous. It's not like they tapped out to play a Wilderness Reclamation. They played the Wilderness Reclamation and played a six-mana spell the same turn earlier. They discarded all spells. Yeah, Sovereign's Bite being in Sorcery is kind of annoying. The, the whole... Okay, so... The reason not to jam to get counters out is because our, our opponent has seven cards right now. We have two. Like, as you saw, like they just have to go to discard. They draw more cards, they go to discard. Um, we can we can kind of fill our hand up and, and be able to try to take advantage of like there's just no there's no like real rush right now, and it's just it's real easy for our opponent to to counter those and everything. It's like we're we're letting their cards 
do exactly what they want. Like that's it's our opponent wants us to just cast the spells right there. There have been cards similar to Wilderness, but not nearly as good. There's like Prophet of Crufix was a creature that untapped your lands. Five mana, two, three creature. They have five mana right now. Stupid sorceries. So if I have one more man, I can fire off all three. Hey, what's up, Sculpted Mine? Can't these be lightning strikes? Be instant speed. the big problem like the the way to be control decks with like burn decks is to bottleneck their mana because you know they're they're going to have more cards than you so you want to bottleneck their mana and you can't bottleneck their mana with wilderness reclamation we just can't we can't do anything Yeah, I didn't risk factor end a turn there because they still have the floating mana. That's the other thing is like I want to risk factor their end step to make them tap lands. Um, but whenever they just get to float all the mana on their end step, <laughs> it's like what can I do? They could just you know like they just spend the mana that, that's going to get wasted. Is it just futile? Oh, 
Every card in their hand must be a counter if they're, they didn't use the inside on their turn. Yeah, they may kill us with Niv Mizzet also, but they're they're gonna be just using explosion to kill us with being at three probably. I mean, we need like a bane fire. Like that's all we need is a bane fire. But I I don't have a bane fire in my deck. Um, I, that's probably an oversight by my part. I probably should have like a bane fire or two in the sideboard. Maybe that's better than Angrath. Um, you know. Kind of first time playing, you know, first time playing against Wilderness Reclamation, this deck, like with our deck. Um, you know, didn't really know how the game was going to go before, but yeah, it looks like we just kind of need to play some Bane Fires. I, I don't believe this is a bad matchup for us. I, I, or like it has to be, you know, like I don't, I don't believe there's not the tools for our deck to beat their deck. This is just like, you know, me not. Not playing against their deck before, kind of thing. Yeah, so I haven't. I've never been that big of a fan of Banefire, but if you know if that's how the game goes against Wilderness Reclamation, you can't run them out of counters or mana. You know, usually you can just do that against Control. You can sit back, wait. Um, you know, when we're played against like Jeskai and Esper Control and stuff like that, and we were fine. Um, but against Wilderness Reclamation, they have infinite mana and infinite cards, you know, figuratively speaking. And, um, and therefore, I'm not. I don't believe that, like, we can't bottleneck either, really, um, which is, which is what our deck, you know, like, that's what you're, we're trying to do with the burn deck. Um, you know, either cards in hand or mana available, uh, squeeze them somewhere where we can fit through burn spells, and we can't do either, so we just need Banefire. So that's, um... So that's kind of a realization coming through uh, after playing that one. So even though I haven't liked Banefire in this deck before, uh, for how that game, those last two games certainly played out, if the games do play like out like that uh, regularly, it uh, looks like we will have to put some Banefires in the sideboard. Um, I had Electrostatic Field in the deck um, last format, but taking it out now, like with Light Up the Stage, uh, that's like that's where that that's like that slot. And I'm I'm pretty happy to take it out. I'm not really that that big of a fan of Electro Electrostatic Field. Oh, did I have did I have the second Pyro in my hand? And sorry, I was just kind of talking and stuff. Um, I guess I should cast this card first. Yeah, I should just cast this card first. I don't... I don't, like, really care to have the creature and play with them having the Lava Coil and stuff anyway. But yeah, if I, if I could have played my second Vyashina Pyromancer, Triggered Spectacle, then Spectacle Skewered, the Wild Growth Walker, that would have certainly been better. Um, Alright, so they took six. The Strike and Bite would have dealt them six anyway, so they just took the six. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, we got this game. GG. Alright, we got game one last time too, though. We had we had the removal spell for Wild Growth Walker, which is, you know, clutch. Gotta have that removal for Wild Growth Walker. Um, so, you know, they're certainly a creature-heavy deck. I don't really want to rely on my creatures. I want to take out these Viashina Pyromancers. And then, therefore, Wizards Lightnings. Um... What if I cut Lava Runners also? What if we just go zero creature? Could go Demanding Dragon. Could play Cannonade. Cannonade or Dragon? <laughs> hey, hey, Soul Farmer. What do we think? Cannonade or Dragon? I like Cannonade. It is a burn deck. We're we're control burn now. They're gonna have all their lava coils. Hope they draw every lava coil in their deck. Hope they draw four lava coils. Always dragon. Risk factor is good. Yeah, we lost to Reclamation Player. I wanted them to uh, I wanted them to put it over here and get a land. I really wanted that thing to be a 3-2. The Jade Light Ranger. I guess we're going to cannonade on their turn. I think it's okay if they're, like, if they're playing, like, if they play a land and they play both of these, cannonade can kill both of them. So, yeah, I was certainly thinking about, like, if, if we needed to bolt the, the land of our elf um, or not. Oh, wow, growth walker. That's interesting. They're just going to do that and keep both of those eggs out? Like, those cards are gone. Wow. I don't know, maybe I just coil the Jade Light Ranger there. And save the Lightning Strike and see if I need to actually kill the Wild Growth Walker or not. Alright, risk factors, we're gonna finish them off. 
Hey, DJ Polly B. All right, one and one. All right, opponent, waiting on you. You want to play first or nah? It's a tough choice. You're right, it's a tough choice. Do we want to play first or not play first? Ooh, I like this hand. This hand looks very Rakdos. We've got this cool swamp, this cool mountain. Sovereign's Bite. Yeah, this hand looks good. Esper, huh? That one. Chandra doesn't mind getting burned a little bit. You know, they, you know, I don't really want to play a, a card into absorb. Shoot. Yeah, they, they do that, then we risk factor. And in case their next turn was like uh, Kai's Wrath, I didn't want to play my other uh, Lava Runner there. I want the lo this Lava Runner to have haste. This is the kind of awkward spot, because I, I would like to grow the Lava Runner's power. First, but let's see. I play, I play Bite... They absorb it, go to 15. I hit them for 2, down to 13. Light up the stage. Hmm. Or that resolved. Do we think they have Kaya's Wrath? I guess they're still taking the two, even if they have Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, this could certainly be a Chemist's Inside turn. That's what it kind of feels like. Pretty dead. Did they have negate? I guess I didn't play around syncopate. I could play the land for syncopate. Dun, 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 dun. Play it all on me now. Do kind of the same thing we did before. Take out Carnival and three shocks for the Angraths. We can't. We just can't beat. We can't beat Lyra at all. We just gotta hope they don't have Lyra. I have nothing in my sideboard for Lyra. Only chance is, you know, having two burn spells. <laughs> yeah, it's not mono red. A little different. We got some cool black black cards. Uh, who knows? I I say Lyra and Lyra at different times. I say them both, and who knows which one it is. 
I think for the most part, people think people say lira is the more that's the more popular pronunciation. Hmm. Sword point diplomacy is awesome. If only we drew a burn spell there that turn where we could have turned on the Lava Runner. Thought Rager could have helped us turn on the Lava Runner. Just made it back to Diamond. Good job, Full Rudy. Way to go. Kaya's annoying. <laughs> this will be child's play. At least we're not going to have... Yeah, that's just annoying. I guess I could have, could have Lightning Striked Kaya. I want to just get these sword point diplomacies going. Draw lots of cards. So they have two lands and an Angrath. I assume they take three and give us the two lands. Whew. Just not even worried about Angrath. All right, we'll take the draw three. You're not welcome here anymore. That's rude. Another chemistry's insight. Good for you. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. All right, got, got Kaya out of here. Kaya would have been able to tick up and gain life on the Pyromancer, and the ultimate would have been difficult to deal with. Um, they got to have counter magic, right? Like, they just gave us Angrath. They got... Huh. Yeah, Mono Blue helped out Kaya's uh, popularity for sure. They have one counter spell. Let's see if they have another. All this little life gain they have is really annoying. You know, moment of craving and absorb and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Official source said 36 Planeswalkers. Um, oh, just in case, syncopate. 36 Planeswalkers. There's going to be a Planeswalker in every pack. Here be monsters. Every pack you open, there will be a Planeswalker. So they'll have a, a special Planeswalker slot. So many Planeswalkers. I need one more burn spell. No fire, no steel. Yeah, I can take control of Lyra and deal five damage, but to what end? All that does ah, is make sure all that does is kill Angrath the next turn. This at least gives us one more turn of Angrath. We need to draw another burn spell so we can pair up the burn spells. The of good. 
to kill Lyra. All right, let's tick this up. No fire, no steel. Go light up the stage. Okay, good. Um, could do I want to play the new Angrath and steal Lyra? No. Yeah, it's a good turn. I'll make use of that later. Yeah, that's for sure a good turn. Looks like they're just kind of digging for another Lyra. No fire, no steel. No fire. Risk factors are pretty good. Nothing is ever truly lost. All right, gonna start Monday. That's that's good. Starting starting on Monday. It's a good time to start. All right, let's skip to the good part. Don't. This doesn't look too good for our opponent. It's not looking too good for them at all. Finish this off, Angrath. No fire, no steel. So I said we couldn't beat Lyra, but we did. Help of Angrath, getting through a bunch of damage. Um, and yeah, you know, we found found a couple burn spells to take out the Lyra, and they did flood out pretty bad. Uh, as you saw, they had a lot of lands in play. You know, they. What, eight lands in play at the end there, and they discarded like three lands to Angrath. They did flood out kind of bad, but whatever. They drew some cards too. Ooh. So we're not we're not very good in the red mirror. Well, we're okay, I guess, but we're not necessarily great. Um. We have Sovereign's Bite, which is clutch. And um, that's kind of a boot it. The problem with playing the Pyromancer here is, is uh, Chain Whirler. I could like wait a turn and be able to Pyromancer plus Wizard's Lightning. That's worked out for us. Um, no chain whirler. No, no walls in the sideboard. Our sideboard card is uh, Demanding Dragon, which is pretty exciting. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that one. Um, last time I played this deck, we played a Red Mirror and our opponent um, Demanding Dragon Dust, and I was like, wow, that's a great card. That's what we got. It's real hard to deal. You know, it's hard to deal with five fives. Um, uh oh. Woo! That's that's good. It was a one instant, one sorcery. That is good for us. Um, and we drew the burn spell. And there we go. That was a cool animation. It should be bigger. Rowdy crew is awesome. Um, yeah, so we're going Demanding Dragon. Hmm. 
I think Fiery Cannonade's honestly kind of good. Like, I remember Fiery Cannonade was good for us previously because they play more creatures than we do. I don't know what I'm supposed to be taking out, though. Yeah, remember last time Fire Cannon was real good. What's the card I take out? Is it Sword Point? Is it Light Up? Yeah, Pyro's not good against Chain Whirler, but I think we still no, we still keep in Pyromancer though, because if they don't have Chain Whirler, it trades with a spell, like a Shock, as we saw before, and deals damage. You want your cards to deal damage and trade with a spell. Uh, that's, you know, like, that's, like, the best possible. I definitely cannot cut land if I'm bringing in a 5-drop. I, I mean, I want to kind of add in a, another land, but I, um, I'm guessing, I guess it's maybe Sword Point or Light Up. One sword point, three light ups. Yeah, we have a land in the sideboard because we, when we bring in Angrath in, in particular, and you know maybe I should be doing it in this matchup also. Honestly, I think I will probably on the play, on the draw. I think I can go with the twenty two lands with getting getting the extra card. But on the play, I think I'm going to want the twenty. Um, the 23rd land. Uh, but when we're bringing in five drops, we need, we want, you know, like we're changing the curve of the deck, so changing the mana base is, uh, is worthwhile. Yeah, I don't sideboard land too much because I don't usually change the mana curve of the, the deck. I sideboard land a whole lot more in aggro decks, like ag aggro decks, like where we have a, a lower land count to start with. Um, like this one for like like right now, for example, this is the like aggro decks are like where I usually have the sideboard land. Um, when you're bringing in like the the bigger things, maybe you're bringing in like your experimental frenzies or whatever, you know, like. Dragon's just going to deal five to them. What? Are, they're just not doing anything. So Dragon dragon dealt five and ate two cards. Uh, they just had all their shocks. Poor opponent. They had shocks, we had lightning strikes. Ours dealt three, theirs dealt two. Shock's really not a good card against Sovereign's Bite. Five mana, deal five, opponent discard two. Not bad, not bad. All right, three and one. Yeah, that's the good thing about the burn decks. We, we have been playing some fast matches. But yeah, the burn mirror is pretty fast. I don't know. Maybe our matchup's better now that we have Demanding Dragon. We didn't necessarily before. The thing is, they need to be a lot more creature heavy. When they're like spell heavy, we kind of have better spells. It's like if they're like creature heavy, it's kind of a pro. It can be a problem. All right, should be Esper Control. Thought Erasure. <laughs> Wait.
Wizards Lightning is not going to be the pick, but I could see, I could realistically see them taking any of the other four. I could see Sovereign's Bite for curve consideration. Alright, first blood. Hmm. Wasn't really expecting any gate there. Um let's go risk factor end step. So if they have absorbed, they have to, you know, they tap out, then we get to diplomacy. Absorbs mean. Dang, both of our diplomacy is getting countered is rough. That card's real important to us. I probably should have just been more patient on it, I guess. The hurry! That was a great curve for them against our deck. Negate, absorb, you know. Discard, negate, absorb to fairy. That's a good curve. Um... We need to move. I want them to have all their removal. Not their counter magic and and discard, especially counter magic. Alright, so they're down to Down to seven. No time for a break. Playing this one first because I know about that card. Oh, gosh. Absorb's such a killer. We're just dead to this Teferi. It just drew all their absorbs. That's rough. All right, get rid of the shocks. Carnage does get to deal three and make him discard two. Is that better than shock? I do like how shock is just something we can fire off in the early game. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep the shock. Absorb is so good. Dude, I want to play the dragon. Um, I don't want to play more five mana cards. Basically, it's it's gonna it's gonna be really hard to have our five mana cards resolved, and just don't want to have more. Our opponent had basically like their their post board exactly what they won against us. You know, discard, negate, absorb, 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 and to fairy right away early. Also, I'll be tough to beat if they have that again. The one mana creature would be nice. Uh, we'll try to make this work though.
don't want sword point diplomacy to get negated. Go, Lava Runner, go. There's two skewers in the list. With skewer is worse with less creatures. the sorcery speed bit, but I could see playing three and three Wizard's Lightning. Wizard Lightning's another one that's not spectacular. No, my Angrath. Hey, Holy. Yeah, we're going to have Bant Super Friends up next. And we'll see how it does. It's not going to be like an amazing deck or anything like that, but... Alright, Angrath... Not beaten Lyra. Lyra is just too difficult. So some some fun quick games to kind of start the day off here with uh, Ragdos Burn. Um, yeah, our opponent had had kind of everything there. Um, you know, so we played against Esper twice. Uh, we had two games where we, you know, where we won. Uh, two games there where, where we lost, where our opponent had really good draws. I think for the most part, your opponent's going to have to have pretty good draws like that uh, to lose that matchup. Um, but yeah, yeah, Bane Slayer Angel is just kind of too strong. Um, I could, you know, put in a sideboard card for Bane Slayer Angel there. Um... And it would be, uh, what's the name of this card that I want would want to play here? I'm just you know like kind of going through the sideboard and and cut it because you don't you don't necessarily play against a ton of liras. We just ended up, you know, we just ended up playing against some liras. Like it's a little unfortunate for us, honestly. Where is this card? If you have more liras, though, you know it. If we need, if we're more worried about Lyra, we would start playing. Uh, I don't know some four mana removal spell that's really good against it. That I can't find for some reason. Oh, there we go, Price of Fame. Yeah, just two mana instant speed, kill a Lyra, surveil two. Um, I like this more than Collision. Collision's another option. You know, deal six to a flyer. Um, because the other flyers just aren't really that important, and this, you know, it, 
you know, it, both of them, both Collision and Price of Fame can kill Alira at instant speed um, for two mana, but this also surveils two. Um, so if you want the sideboard card for Lyra, this is the one. Um, but I don't know if that's necessary. I have the Carnival in the deck. I don't, maybe I shouldn't have Carnival. Um, you know, how, how we were sideboarding there. Uh, I think I kind of want, you know, like how, how we were like taking out the shock, like leaving in one shock. I think I kind of would rather just have the th this third skewer in here. I think that's, yeah, I think I'd rather just have the third skewer and have um, three skewer, four lightning. Hey, back tier. Thanks for the tier one sub. I do appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. That's sub number two on the day. Yeah, that Huali deck was fun to play, too. I'll probably play that tomorrow. Um, yeah, I really liked that deck. So, cool. Yeah, I'll probably play that one tomorrow. All right, so, yeah, I think that's I think that's the change I'm going to make for Rakdos Burn. Honestly, the deck felt pretty good, though. Uh, you know, we, we went 3-2, but um, I feel like we got kind of unfortunate with, with the loss there to Esper. Um, and, and even to... to uh, the other deck. Oh, I guess we need Banefires, don't we? I forgot about that. We need to play like two Banefires. I forgot about that for like I forgot about our first loss. All right, so if we have these Banefires, we can we can cut a coil. I don't need four coils. Um, and I guess Banefire can be another you know, albeit expensive, answer to Lyra, but that can be another answer to Lyra. So actually, yeah, that could be our Lyra answer also. And then we got to we got to trim one of these sweepers, because um, yeah, I want the dragons. You know, the dragons are kind of just for mono red. So do I need two dragons if it's just for mono red? Maybe not. Maybe we just play one dragon. I I certainly do like the land still, and I like the Angrass. The Angrass were pretty nice. Yeah, that's that's a good upgrade there. So yeah, three and two, and we were really close to winning both of our losses. We were really close in there. This deck felt pretty good. So there we go. Okay, so if you were watching this video later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.